Hello VC, it's your boy D Washington 607 and I'm here back to do another um, update, some music that I brought recently and um, stuff I've been listening to. There's kind of a lot so I'm going to get started and try to make this quick. Uh, first up, Vampire Weekend, Modern Vampires of the City, the lightest. Um, I even thought it was a good album. I disagree with, um, I think it was Chad Everett who said, you know, he was kind of disappointed. I thought this was like one of the better albums and stuff, but I do agree with him, Contra's a little better, but I I wasn't as disappointed as, he's, as he was mentioning in his video, so Vampire Weekend. Up next, this is Billy Joe Armstrong from Green Day and Nora Jones, this is for Everly. This is their take on the Everly Brothers, um, I think it's the album they did called Songs Our Daddy Taught Us. I love this record, one of my top ones of the year. Um, very Americana, very folky, fantastic record. It's just really good. They don't try and overdo it and stuff. It's just a fantastic record. It's Billy Joe Armstrong and Nora Jones foreverly. Up next, I got Tegan and Sarah. This is the pot throb, the light is always kept passing this up, but then I finally decided to get it. And stuff is good, I liked it actually. It's very good, poppy, dancey. It's very good stuff. So, Tegan and Sarah, hot throb. And I found me another Tegan and Sarah. This I found for $1.99. If it was you, a lot of people say this is like one of their best ones. I found this for $1.99. And stuff, another Tegan and Sarah, right there, if it was you. And I found another Taken and Sarah for one ninety nine. One called This Business of Art. It's another one. These are all very good. I was really I really did like these. Can't be, believe I found those for one ninety nine. So Taken and Sarah. And this is something I found Tori Amos, Conflict Girl. It's like a CD single. And it has a few like non LP tracks on there on the back. I found that for $1.99 also. Got some, I know I'm thinking of Shannon every time I show any Tori Amos and stuff like that. Up next, another Tori Amos. I found um, Strange Little Girls. I think I might have this already, but this was $1.99. I wasn't sure exactly and stuff. But this is a great, great CD. I love this CD. Tori Amos, Strange Little Girls. Now this one I found for one ninety nine really blew my mind. This is Steve Hackett, Beyond the Shrouded Horizon. Steve Hackett, of course. Genesis. This is, this is the two CD set. And I got this for one ninety nine. It's beautiful, and just the cover alone can kind of tell you what kind of music it is. It's very little. I don't know, avant garde, spacey kind of new ages, new age mixed in there. For very good stuff. There's two CDs that Steve Hackett, Beyond the Shrouded Horizon. And I picked this up also for dollar ninety nine. Stereo Lab, Sound Dust. I love Stereo Lab. This is like the only. This is only like the second one in stuff I have. It's kind of hard to find this stuff, but I did find this one for dollar ninety nine. Stereo Lab. And this one really blew my mind. Brian Haas, my chain is frames. I know I saw some of the guys. I think Dr. Rhythm and some other guys showed this. On there, I played this yesterday. It blew my mind. It's just, oh, I can't even describe it. It's so good. So, Brian Haas and Matt Ch Chamberlain Frames. And then I found my girl. I was very happy to find this Mary, was it Harvison Quintet, Bending Bridges. I know I've seen this mentioned a lot in the VC, and I was really, I was really f f stoked when I found this. I was just digging. At um, J and R, which is where I found most of these, and it was just there. But the guy who worked there, so a lot of people don't know who she is. That's why they have some of her stuff in stock. But definitely, I was so happy to get that. And I found another one of Mary Harvison's trio. The other one, Dragon Heads. So I know a lot of you guys have been showing that there. So, so I found one myself. Fantastic record. One of the best ones I picked up this year. Definitely. And then old goody, our boys, yes, 90125, and this is the expanded remastered edition, it has like 
some bonus tracks on there. Of course, had on of a lonely heart. Leave it. What's, there's another song there that that they made. What's the name of it? It, it can happen. Changes. So yes, nine oh one two five. This one. This is. A, the, I actually saw these people live at Barnes and Noble. This is Sarah Lee Guthrie and Jeremy Iron. I can't say that. What's the Seek way? I think she's um. Uh, what is it? Um, Guthrie, Guthrie's granddaughter or something, and I, and I got them to autograph it right there. And there's Jeremy's autograph right there. It's more kind of like nice kind of folky harmony stuff, but it's good. I think it's you know Guthrie's granddaughter right here. I, I got a chance to meet her after the show. She had a, I think she had a couple of kids with her, maybe her daughters and stuff. But, but it's very good stuff. I like it. And who is this? One of my favorites, James Blake, Overground. I love James Blake. I saw him do this live in New York and stuff. Just really, it's really something. And he does really with all these keyboards and stuff. And it has a very unique voice. But James Blake, Overground, fantastic. And another one of my favorites, The Head and the Heart, Let's Be Still. Love Head and the Heart. I think this is the latest one. I had that first one they had. It was the first one I had like a sheep head or something but definitely another another great pick of the year really nice landscape there but definitely head in the heart let's be still next this is an artist named Lindsay Sterling she's like a dubstep electronic um, violin player you can see her right there I really like this album and stuff some of the stuff is like kinda I know it's kinda hard to describe it can be kinda Classical with dub, a little bit of electronica in there and stuff, but very nice. This is Lindsay Sterling, very cool. I think it's self titled. This is, um, what is this here? George Chazelle, the Cleveland Orchestra. What is this? This is Schumann, the Four Symphonies. That's a two CD set. I got that for like five dollars and stuff. Really good. I always have to have some like classical stuff with me there. Another one. This is just this is Kip. What's it? Haranan. Desires develops an edge. Been dying to get a lot more of his stuff. And all you guys who know Kip, you know what he can do. Master at his stuff. So Kip, master. One of my favorite records of all time. Massive Attack Protection. And of course, it has my song Protection. I think that's one with Tracy Thorne from Everything But the Girl singing on there. The tricky there, I love I love that love this record one there. One of my most favorites of theirs, Massive Attack Protection. And of course, I was so happy to find this, Herbie Hancock, <laughs> Mawadishi. One of Brothers Archive thing there has a little booklet in there. I've been dying to find this with those nice long tracks. Finally found it. I actually ordered it from Amazon actually. Just came like you know a few days ago. I listened to it like three times. Very good. Herbie Hancock, Maud Ishii. Also um, found this Richie Havens mixed bag. This is the first Richie Havens I've ever owned. I've seen a few people show this in the VC. Really like that record. Really good. Havens master. Up next, Genesis Trespass. And of course, I'm thinking of Shannon. Now, anytime I show any Genesis, then I found this for like five dollars. This stuff, very good. Genesis Trespass. Another Genesis. Genesis Live. Mm -hmm. That's the remastered thing there. I played this today twice. Very good. It was excellent. Genesis Live. Up next, this is Pink Floyd, The Piper at the Gates of Dawn. I found this for, what is it? For like two ninety nine. This is a two C D set. Pink Flower was almost floored when I found out that this was two ninety nine so definitely Pink Floyd. Another one. I like this rock set collection of hits, the greatest hits. It has a DVD of all the videos they made through their career and stuff. Found this for two ninety nine also in the clearance bin. Fantastic. I like rock set, they were a good eighties bond. Up next, Regina Spector. What's the Soviet Kush? 
I had a lot of her stuff, but I never had this one and stuff. I found that for two ninety nine. Also, it has a DVD, also in there. Yeah, definitely one on this Regina Spectre. <laughs> I know, guys. This one has a lot of stuff. This one, Mozart, the Violin Concerto, Stan Pooch. I found this. It's a two CD set. I found this for two ninety nine. Also, I found a lot of two ninety nine stuff. Excellent. I love it. It's a beautiful. I love that picture on there, on the top. Yeah. What else do we have? Of course, everyone is seeing this. RK Fire, the reflector. Yeah. I thought it was good and stuff. Not as good as some of the other stuff, but I wasn't that disappointed in it. And stuff. RK Fire, reflector. And now, uh, this is. Who is this? Oh, this is MIA. <laughs> Matagini. This is her new one. I love her. My her crazy self, but I love her. She's a genius. Good rap mixture, dub, and everything else in there and stuff. Just fantastic. In my way, I love her. This is a compilation called Red Hot Fila. It's a tribute to Fila. Has like Angeli, was it Angeli Cujo? Is that her name? And the Roots and a lot of other people. I'm not sure. Exactly, Tony Allen and some other people. I'm not sure. All the names and stuff. Oh yeah, my my morning jacket is on here and stuff. Like a tribute to Fila. Of course, you know they've had like things like the Red Hot Blue, the Red Hot Rio, all those, all those stuff. But this is a fantastic CD. It's really good. Red Hot Fila. Almost done, guys. I know it's more. And of course, we had to get my boy Justin Timberlake. 2020 experience. This is part two. And then again, I disagree with Chad. I love this album. Justin's really good. It's a good album. One and two are both good. Yeah. Here, another Kip Harnikin. All roles are made of flesh. And I think I saw Dr. Rhythm and the guys show that too. So, yeah, I was really happy to get that. Kip Harnikin, I love Kip. Mm -hmm. Yep, so definitely. Kip Harnikin, all, mold, all roles are made of flesh. What else we have here? Robert Glasper Experiment, Black Radio 2. Robert, he's mostly getting to stuff for having a lot of like R&B people who used to do like mostly straight jazz. But this is the second one and has like, um, who's it have on here? Um, Jill Scott, Common, um, Fife Evans, Nora Jones is on the track, Loopy Fiasco and stuff, Layla Hathaway, so I like it, I like Robert. Robert Glasper, Black Radio 2. You're almost done, boy. And I found this Rush with Vapor Trails remixed. And I'll have to tell you guys, this is the only Rush I've ever owned. I own, I own no other Rush. I know a lot of you guys. So you out of your freaking mind. What's wrong with you, man? Don't worry. I'll, I um, hope to get more. But I really like this. It was really good. Rush. And I'll send this one, Adam, to my friend Adam Lee, who I think Adam, and of course Adam is your girl, Celine Dion, Love Me Back to Life. <laughs> and I don't care, I like Celine, she's cool, it's a pretty good pop record for her, getting a little bit out of her comfort zone. And I, and um, she has some good writers, Stevie Wonder on her, Neo, Neo, and I like Celine, she's good. That's a good record. What else here? One more. This is when I got. This is called Best American Classics 100. Best American Classics 6 CD, and that's on the EMI label. It's really good stuff, and it's not just you know you think it's just oh you know celebrating America, but there's a lot of great tunes on here. You know, early in the morning, old American songs, Bewitched, Bobbit, and Bewildered. So they really mean American songs, not you know just you know that you know the cover can be a little misleading because of the flag, but it's really. And there's six CDs in there. Guys, look at all that. A lot over 77 minutes per CD. And last but not least, this is a box that I got. Schubert, the Essential Masterpiece. It's a five CD set. I remember I sent something like this to Brandon and to Sydney when they were trying to get their classical square swerve on, as I say. I own a lot of these box sets. I bought like, like 10 of them. And so, but I didn't have the Schubert one. Got this for 10 bucks and stuff. So very nice. And last but not least, another one, this is Beethoven, Nine Symphonies, EMI Classic, 
I'll let you guys get a look at that. See some lungs.